Welcome back to How To DIY and Save a Dime. So today, I'm going to be getting some of these things out my basement. These have to go. So you're, you're probably hearing water in the background, so excuse it. These things have to go, but I could not find the best way to store these so that they are accessible to us. The girls can get them and we can grab them and go bike riding without coming back and forth up and down the stairs to get the bike. So I'm going to show you how I figured out a great way to store them and they are like out of the way and it's very, very inexpensive. So let's get started. All right, guys. So excuse all the stuff around. I got a lot of projects going on to get out to you. So these are going to be lifesavers. I found these on Amazon.com. If I forget to put the link, please let me know. These are some heavy duty bike hooks. And all you need to do is find the studs in your area and then put these, screw these in, and then you can hang your bikes up. I know, I know. When I looked at it, I said, this for one bike? Yes, for one bike. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and then show you how I hang my bikes and get them out the basement. So now that they're now they're accessible from the garage and the girls and I can just grab them and go. All right. So let's get started. Oh, let me tell you, I got eight of them for ah, I can't remember. I know it was less than like 12 bucks for eight because guess what? These hooks are like um, five, six bucks, $4 at Lowe's. Um, I think the cheapest I seen was $4 for one. And I kept searching. I said, I got to find them cheaper. I know I got to find them cheaper because I know for right now I need to put four of them up. So yeah, let me go and put them up and show you what you're going to need to do that. You're going to need a drill bit and you want to make sure your drill bit is just a little bit smaller than this because if it's too big you won't be able to screw this in and it'll be like it's stripped and it'll just kind of wobble inside the hole so you're going to need a nice drill bit and you're going to need a powerful drill gun um, because you need to get into the stud far enough so that this can go in so let me show you how to do it drill bit ready so I just want to give you a quick tip. When you are looking for studs in a garage, if your garage isn't fully finished, where you see those holes are is where they have put nails into the actual um, stud. So that's where you want to make sure you line up this actual hook to go into the stud, all right? All hooks up there not aligned, but oh well, let's get these bikes up there. Here they go, and this is a great way to get them off the floor and onto the wall, and you don't have to worry about them being in the basement or going inside the house to grab them. You can just grab it and go out the garage and ride the bike. So I hope this video was very helpful. If it was, thumbs up the video. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, and that's how you're gonna join my family and hit that notification bell every time I load a video, you will be notified, and guess what? I will see you guys later, Gators.